Look, I like to go visit with someone, like the mayor or any of those city council members, when I have a solution to the problems as we see it. Uh, I don't know anyone, including them, that's gonna, that believes that the city of New Orleans is being run like an absolute professional football team. And that was Governor-elect Jeff Landry sharing his approach to making the improvements here in New Orleans and around the state. One of the solutions for this city is a transition team that will help make some of those decisions. Uh, Landry has multiple transition teams that will meet with him and now, uh, between now and, and Inauguration Day. However, the city of New Orleans uh, only has a, a one committee, uh, uh, and one of the members is Senator Royce Lopezas, the only elected official who represents Orleans Parish, and he's joining us with uh, some of the goals he's hoping for when uh, the Landry administration takes over next month. Uh, are, are you, are, you're a Democrat, obviously you did not support Jeff Landry. Were you surprised when they called up and asked you to be on this transition team? It certainly wasn't anything I was expecting, Eric. I will say I was a bit surprised. Uh, it was not something that I thought that I would uh, be a part of. I was surprised that a New Orleans committee was even formed. Like most New Orleanians, this was pretty unprecedented to have uh, one committee focused solely on the city of New Orleans. So that was the biggest surprise. But and then to have acts to be served on, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. On, on its face, it seems like a good thing that he's, yeah. he's taking a look at, at New Orleans. However, uh, he said a lot of disparaging things about the city and, right. and the administration. Yeah, I mean, and, and that is why most of us had concerns when we first learned about this committee. And I think a lot of people still do have concerns. But however, I think on one level, it's an opportunity for us to say this is a recognition of the importance of the city of New Orleans to the state of Louisiana. So let's figure out where we can find solutions to make New Orleans be the city that it can be. I've heard about Charleston. I've heard about Nashville. Great cities, fine, but we're New Orleans. We want to be the best New Orleans that we can be. So I'm going to work with this governor. I'm going to work with whoever and do what I've been doing to make sure that the voices of New Orleanians are being represented. And that's what we have to do to make this city thrive. And while a lot of New Orleanians may may not totally agree with, with uh, uh, Jeff Landry, I, I mean, there are concerns here, a lot of concerns here, yep. whether it's law enforcement, it's blight, streets torn up, all kinds of things. Absolutely. Look, people are concerned. So. Everybody has a role to play at the local level, at the state level, at the federal level. So this is about collaboration and coming together to figure out how we can solve these issues. As you saw, you know, I put out a survey. I asked the people of New Orleans, what do you want to ask up from this governor? What don't you want to and see from this governor? And go over some governor? of the things you found in that survey. Yeah, not, not too many surprises. Infrastructure, huge. Sewage and Water Board is a big issue. Sewage and Water Board is a state controlled, it's a state entity. Yeah. Uh, public safety, obviously at the top of the list, but we want to approach public safety not just from the standpoint of more police, we need more police certainly, but we also want to deal with root causes of crime and economic development. How do we, how do we invest in places like New Orleans East to make sure it thrives and, and ensure that places like the bio district can get the proper investment, all things that the state can help with. That's what the people of New Orleans want to see. They want to see, see a city that works. And those are all important things. Uh, uh, New Orleans, of course, is, is a big driver in, in tourism and, right. and uh, you know, a business in this state. Uh, some of the things that your survey said that uh, New Orleanians do not want, they don't want over-policing or allowing racial profiling. They don't want to withhold or redirect funding from New Orleans and don't diminish or demean the culture of this city. That's right. So New Orleans is uh, not unlike other cities, blue cities in red states. And what we cannot afford as a state is for the state of Louisiana to beat up on the city of New Orleans, to be withholding critical infrastructure money or to be demeaning the city of New Orleans. We need to uplift the city of New Orleans and help the city of New Orleans to make it thrive because when we attack the city of New Orleans, we're basically attacking the state of Louisiana and we can't have that. Has, has the mayor met with the, with Governor-elect Landry? I'm not aware. I, I, don't, I don't know. I think they may have spoken. I don't know that spoken. she has. I, 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 don't know. I don't know. I don't know how, how uh, deep any conversations they've had have been. I I'm not aware. And then when you were, were, were on some of these, these uh, meetings, uh, did, did Landry ever come to some of them? He came to uh, at least two of them for part of, part of the meeting, and but he didn't. He wasn't there for the entire time. And, and are, are you optimistic about? about I'm cautiously that? optimistic. I'm, I'm choosing to, to to continue doing what I've been doing, which is work. Uh, with uh, my Republican colleagues, my Democratic colleagues, and everybody across this state to improve the city of New Orleans. And I don't look at this as being any different than what we've been doing, which we have to be optimistic. And, and what are you hoping that, that, that uh, a Landry administration will bring? Because we are in a very red state. He is a very conservative uh, 
uh, he'll be a very conservative governor right. compared to what we've had in the past. Um, where do you think he'll, he'll help us the most? Well, what I'm hoping is that we can change some of the rhetoric and we can change some of the way that we talk about the city of New Orleans. We can talk about the problems, but we can also talk about it in a way where we're working towards solutions and, and recognizing that so goes the city of New Orleans, goes the state of Louisiana. Well, and, and talk is talk. I right. mean, you but guys actually, want, to, you want to see action. But, but, it, but I think messaging matters. I just want to point that okay. out. Okay. Messaging matters. But then, then we actually have to deliver the resources. So there's a lot of state money that gets delivered to the city of New Orleans. So don't, don't, don't do things like hold up sewage and water board money that, that, that's tied to some other political issue. Let's not do that. Which Let's, has happened. Which has happened. And, and that's what I'm hoping we can pivot on and not get caught up on uh, unnecessary wedge issues. Again, the Sewage and Water Board is a state controlled entity. It's a state entity that's created by uh, state legislation. I think there's an opportunity because we go up there every year and fight for capital outlay money. That's a, that's a prime opportunity where the state can lean in and, and provide support. Other places uh, include economic development opportunities that I've already talked about. Uh, there's a lot that the state can do, and I think this new governor has an opportunity to not just say he cares about New Orleans, but to actually deliver and do things for the people of New Orleans. And, and uh, we were talking before we came on camera. I've talked to uh, Lieutenant Governor Billy Dungesser. He'd like to see uh, the, the state uh, take control of the French Quarter. Freddie King III, the councilman from that district, says, you know, that, that's, that's a possibility. Well, when you say take control, I think the, the devil's in the details. And I don't, I don't know that the, the idea of the state coming in and just taking full control of the French Quarter, which is the crown jewel of the city from a but tourism the, the standpoint. the funding and things like that. Yeah, yeah, they can provide, we, we will work collaboratively with the representatives for that area and the state to provide the resources and the support so that we can all feel safe when we go to the French Quarter and that the French Quarter can be something that we're proud of. When we walk through, it, it can be a, the, the jewel that it is. All right. Thank yeah. you for coming in, Senator. We appreciate <laughs> Thank that. Thank you, Eric. Uh, yeah. Governor-elect Landry's inauguration will take place on the, sta uh, the state capitol steps. That'll be at 1130 in the morning on January the 8th. We, of course, will have live and extensive coverage of his swearing in.